A bicycle wheel has radius r. Let p be a point on the spoke of a wheel at a distance d units from the center of the wheel. The wheel begins to roll to the right along the x-axis and the curve traced out by the point p is given by the following parametric equations. We want to find r, which is the radius of the bicycle wheel, and d, the distance the point is, and d, the distance the point on a spoke is from the center of the wheel. So we have this wheel with this point on a spoke. As it rolls to the right, notice how this red point would trace out this blue curve given by the parametric equations. So notice how, looking at our curve, if we find the minimum y value, this would give us this distance here from the point to the edge of the circle. And if we find the maximum y value, it would give us this distance here, which will be enough information to allow us to find big R and D. So let's focus on our equation for y and determine the minimum and maximum y value. So for the minimum y value, remember the output for the cosine function is a closed interval from negative one to positive one. So when cosine theta equals one, we'd have a minimum y value of seven minus five or two. And now to find the maximum y value, that would occur where cosine theta equals negative one, where we'd have seven minus five times negative one, which would be seven plus five or twelve. Now looking at our graph here, because the minimum y value is two, the distance from this point on the spoke to the edge of the wheel is two units. So if we enlarge this, we know that this length here is two units. And then because the maximum y value is twelve, we know this distance here is twelve units. So if we enlarge this, we know that this length here is twelve units, but this short piece is two units, which means this length here would have to be twelve minus two or ten units. So if this is ten units, notice how the distance the point is from the center of the circle would have to be half of this, or five. So to show some work, we can say that d is equal to twelve minus two, and then divided by two to get half of it, which would be ten divided by two, which equals five. And now to find big R, the radius of the wheel, if we now know this is five, and we know the distance from this point to the edge of the wheel is two, big R would have to be just five plus two, or seven. I hope you found this helpful.